A gazelle is, a, as you know, a very fast-moving creature with a lot of fast switch muscles. Has to be because it has to stay ahead of cheetahs, and more on cheetahs in a moment. But gazelles are used, are a term that we in the entrepreneur community use to describe companies that grow really quickly. And the reason why companies that grow quickly is important to all of us is that by some estimations, gazelles create roughly 20% of our current gross domestic product. That's one fifth of the economy. Gazelles matter enormously. We see it, we feel it in how uh, entrepreneurship is portrayed in the media, but these companies are really important. Technology is very important. You know, we as a species have been applying technology since the first time we realized that you could actually make a saber-toothed tiger go away by hitting with the club. We have been very good as a species at controlling and shaping our environment through the application of science. Technology is the process of converting science and discovery into things that are useful and usable for us as human beings. And our economy is very much driven by this trend towards technology. The first question you need to ask as a Washingtonian is, where are our gazelles? Where do they come from? Well, to answer this question, I'm a professor of the Smith School of Business, University of Maryland. I asked a few of my students to ruin a Labor Day weekend, which they willingly did, credits to them. And they spent a fair bit of time looking at something called the Inc. 500 list. The Inc. 500 list measures every year the fastest growing private companies on the basis of revenue. And I asked them to tell me what kind of rapid growing companies are occurring in the DC market. And here's what I learned. The first thing I learned is we're not Trenton, New Jersey. If any of you have taken that Northeast Corridor train, you know that there's this wonderful sign, Trenton makes, the world takes, which I've always thought is kind of a very passive aggressive thing. It's like, sure, don't mind us, we're just Trenton. But what they're getting at is that manufacturing, the idea of producing things to sell elsewhere, that's not what our gazelles are doing. So what are our gazelles doing? Well, notwithstanding the kind introduction, we're not Silicon Valley either. So what's Silicon Valley? Well, Silicon Valley is, is an idea, it's, a, it's a, a geographic location. But more than anything else, you know what Silicon Valley really is? It's the best manifestation of a trend I'm going to describe in a few minutes, which is the interdependence between federal R&D and entrepreneurial behavior. But Silicon Valley over the last 20 years has driven two large industrial cycles. The first one is what I call the phenomenon or the era of the printing press. The internet, the commercialization of the internet and all the enablement created a methodology for communicating information, connecting people in ways that had never really truly been thought through and to this day have not been completely thought through, I would suggest. But that internet printing press era created unbelievable growth in Silicon Valley and in DC. That era ended about 2001, you may have heard. There was a bit of a stock market crash and a collection and a correction. The other significant era began in about 2003 with the ascendancy of a little company we now call Google. So these two big waves, these two big waves that have created enormous employment and high value added jobs, how has it affected us here in DC? Well, it's been very interesting for me to have an opportunity to look at some data with my students. What I can tell you is that during the internet printing press era, Washington DC had a lot of gazelles in telecommunications, software products, computer hardware, and media and advertising. A lot. 75% of the gazelles in our region were in those three industries. That's why, if you remember back during that period of time, you drove up and down the toll road towards Reston, there were all these buildings springing up with all these billboards. It was not, it was not an illusion. It was an actual fact. It was an economic fact. And during that period of time, venture capital, which is a source of capital that is organized in our society to finance gazelles that are growing towards permanence, 6% of the national numbers in venture capital regularly went to our market. And in areas like telecom, 
It was higher than that. So we created a lot of high value added jobs and a lot of activity. The sharing era is largely passing us by from the standpoint of startups and gazelles. What our gazelles are doing now is government services, information technology services, and healthcare, primarily healthcare services. And the remaining 5%, because those three constitute 95% of our gazelles, the remaining 5% is in a category that largely is consulting. So when we talk about gazelles in this region, the first thing we need to appreciate is that our entrepreneurial class, our friends, our people that we know that buy our houses or do the crazy things that entrepreneurs do, are really, really good at following the money. Entrepreneurs are coin operated. Yeah. Coin operated. I have a great idea. I want to change the world. It takes time, money, and resources. Where do I find the money? They follow the money like sunflowers follow the sun. Our regional entrepreneurs in the aftermath of 9-11 realized that their best hope for having successful businesses was to tightly associate with the United States federal government and in particular the national security establishment. Our state, Virginia, gets roughly 13, 14 percent of its entire domestic product, its entire economy comes from Department of Defense federal spending. So, so when we think about where is the growth going to come from, where are the gazelles going to come from, when we look at and think about the kind of trends that Terry's talking about and that we hear about in the newspaper about federal spending patterns and so forth, we should be concerned. We should not be despondent, we should be concerned. 